Scorpio. Hello, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get Spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. You will love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and guidance from Spirit, particularly in the niche of business. He is absolutely a business genius. His information is going to be down below. But without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so we have the Four of Swords and we have the Five of Pentacles. What's after this? Five of Wands, Knight of Cups, and the Magician. Beautiful. Okay, so just know right now, Scorpio, I know it feels a little bit daunting in your current uh, energies, but listen, you have, um, there's going to be an offering coming forward soon, okay? There's, uh, uh, someone is going to offer you a position, and someone is going to offer you an opportunity, someone is going to offer you uh, their hand, it's going to come in multiple twos, okay? Depending on where you are in your life, it may come in the form of love, career, a new opportunity, travel, because it's, it's going to be a, a beautiful offering coming for you in your life, okay? Here's the thing, in order for this to feel as sweet as possible, it's really important for you to understand that what you are currently going through is put in place for a reason so that you can gain knowledge and experience but the more that you, the more that we feed into the fear program of, of of not enough or I can't do this or I'm not worthy or no one's gonna like me or what am I thinking imposter syndrome the more we feed into this feeling know that it is because you have detached from who you really are because whenever we feed into that fear we have forgotten what we are here for and who we are. Now, in order to discover who we are, we must take time out. This time out must reflect in the form of, of, of hanging out with our guidance system, okay? because I need you to look at things like this, okay, Scorpio? This here, this is a video game, it's a simulation. Everything, everything is vibrating uh, particles, okay? And it's dense, it's dense here in uh, on Earth, and that's why we can hear it when we knock on the table, right? Uh, beyond the veil where our guides and angels hang out, everything is is very fluid and not dense. It's very, that's why it feels whenever you meditate and, and you feel their energy and you go up to that vibration, you almost feel like you're floating. You almost feel like you're in a dream because it just feels so euphoric right so just know that right now what's important to know is this here this is like the Truman Show okay this is completely a, a, a fake fun game for us to be able to learn a bunch of lessons from okay so knowing this is the Truman Show understand that any type of fear is just a fake program it's not real and so in order to know what is real like what is the truth then where do you get the truth from that's all we want to know what's the truth what's authentic the truth comes from the wisdom of your soul in order to access this wisdom Wisdom, it's like VIP access to the producers of the show, right? Because the, where, the, where the producers lie is in your heart because your heart is the uh, front row VIP access to your guides and angels who can see this entire thing. Your entire life is already planned out and your guides and angels know which way to direct you. But unless we sit down with them, take a break, take a minute, sit in nature, sit with yourself, put on some headphones, put on some calming music, some bird sounds, some meditation music, okay? Set your timer for 20 minutes a day. That's it. Have a daily practice of 20 minutes where you sit and you listen. That's what meditation is. You're sitting and you're listening. So you're not talking. You're not thinking. Thoughts may come in. Just observe them like clouds. But you're listening, okay? You may not hear anything and you may not sense anything. And that's okay. That's completely normal. The clarity that comes afterwards is the understanding then that, oh yeah, I am an infinite immortal being and I create my reality. Now, do you want to create your reality based upon the fact that things are not going how you want? Do you want to create the reality, your reality based upon I'm not enough or I'm not worthy or this isn't going well? Because that's not who you are. Then you'll be basing your life and your life will reflect a false sense of self, a false sense of truth. Right? And you'll be basing your reality based on fake programs. It's like living in the matrix and not knowing, right? In order to get out of that and have more of a conscious awareness, that 20 minutes of reflecting and that 20 minutes of just of, of, of taking yourself out of it to in order to gain the clarity, right? And then you're gonna be able to have that access because then you're gonna feel calm and balanced. Having that 
feeling of peace and that balance within yourself from taking time out is what is going to be needed to tap you back in to your feeling sense of self. And when you're in your feeling sense of self, you are then able to disregard any sense of abandonment because you no longer feel abandoned or lonely or feeling like you can't do it because that's not who you are, right? Remember, you have your smaller self, which is all your programs and egos and stuff. And then you have your higher self and you connect with your higher self through meditation because that's who you really are. It's your soul. And the more that you connect with your higher self, the more you will feel confident to make the choices and to move forward in life, even when life may be projecting an outcome or an experience that wouldn't be conducive to what your desires are. You see, our lives are always a reflection of how we think and feel. And if we're constantly anxious and worried and fearful, then we are giving into these fear programs and we're living our lives through these fear programs and it's not real. And again, in order to remove ourselves from these programs, we simply just have to sit in that 20 minutes of meditation every day because then you're going to get the insight and you're going to see, oh my goodness, these offer this offering that's coming into my life. Wow, it's offering me this entire new reality that I could potentially be in here. And this is flowing into your life very soon here, Scorpio. Look at this, my goodness. We have the Knight of Cups and we have the Two of Wands, okay? So this offering is going to present to you a whole new opportunity. But unless you are in a place where you are able to seize this opportunity with a sense of opportunity, with a sense of its opportunity and eagerness and excitement, you're only going to be able to feel that emotion towards this new beginning if you are in your higher self. If you are in your fear-based smaller self, it's just going to feel completely overwhelming, completely anxiety-ridden, and the choice may not be as one a, an easy one. And it could be so much easier. You see, Scorpio, because remember, this, this whole thing is just a simulation, and you control your outcome. You control it. You control it by the thoughts you think and you control it by your um, by by your intention. Remember, this whole entire place is an intention driven world. So you can intend what you desire and allow your life to flow in that direction, or you can simply react to your environment, creating your life from what you're reacting from, right? If you're anxiety and if you're fearful and you're continuously feeding those thoughts, then that's what your life will be. That's what your life will be. And there will be no evolution and just no satisfaction in our lives is how we allow more to flow in. Because if we are not satisfied with what is, then we, if we're, if we're dissatisfied, we create all this resistance. In order to be satisfied, we have to be connected to who we really are, which is that meditation. We have to be learning new things and evolving in our career. It means we have to make our jobs as easy as possible, whatever that means for you. Maybe it's learning a new skill. Maybe it's uh, educating yourself on the best way, but it, uh, all it is is just being open-minded to what comes next. And just know your guides and angels. Again, the producers of this thing are always guiding us. And if we sit in meditation for 20 minutes a day, we're always going to get the clarity of what action steps need to get taken place because koala spirit is validating that spirit always has a plan always 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 the producers of this truman show always have a plan for us but in order to actually hear that plan we got to sit with them we got to have that meeting it only takes 20 minutes out of your day scorpio every single day have this as a daily practice and that's going to allow you to overcome any obstacle that's going to flow into your life because you're going to have the front row vip access to what comes next instead of trying to figure it out for yourself and you just don't need to it's just it, it's important impossible and it's self-sabotage and it's like shooting your foot foot you know shooting yourself in the foot like it's not necessary you know what I mean and in order for you to see and feel this sense of validation and the action steps that you're taking it's important for you to really understand that this choice is yours this choice is yours, right? You are an immortal spiritual being. You never die. Your soul never dies. You live forever. You're infinite. And in order to access this wisdom, you just need to sit with yourself instead of go, 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 effort, effort, effort. It's not about how much can we do to, you know, achieve validation and get the success. It's not about just going, going, going. It's about literally taking a break, taking a minute, taking a breather, sitting down in silence, sitting down and meditating, sitting down with your guides and angels to get you the clarity, to get you the insight. Efforting your way through things is never going to be the answer. It's only going to bring forward dissatisfaction because you'll never be happy with what's happening. You know, we have to be satisfied. And again, a lot of the times finding what that satisfaction is, is halting for a minute, stopping this, this life that we are living, stop to removing ourselves from the matrix, removing ourselves from the rat race, because we must be conscious 
We must be very conscious. If we are, if we are creating from an unconscious reactionary level, then we are not, again, having a life that is, uh, is based on reality. It's based on falsities, right? It's a false reality because it's a fear-based life. Right? If we are stopping and we're connecting, connecting to ourselves, connecting to our you know, higher self, connecting to our team, then what's happening is we're then stopping and we are setting intentions for our life and creating our life based upon what our desires are, our intention. We are, we are becoming then the creator instead of the reactor. And that is how we truly achieve the life that we want. And all it takes is just a minute, just a minute, Scorpio, to just stop what you're doing and just take that 20 minutes a day, sit out in nature, put on that peaceful music and stop thinking for a minute, okay? Re detach from those thoughts, be with yourself, listen. Meditation is about sitting in silence and listening as if you're about to hear something really juicy. You'd really be listening, right? You're not thinking, you're not trying to talk over that, you're listening and have that timer set for 20 minutes. I promise you this will change your life. All right, Scorpio, so I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you, Scorpio. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.